A substantial part of military operations takes place under snow conditions. Specialized equipment is necessary. And as in other fields, the new demands of modern warfare must be met. On May 1, 1942, G4 requested the development of a snow vehicle for a special operation, capable of being glider-borne and having certain other specifications. First, an analysis was made of different types of snow with regard to their vehicle-bearing capacity. The range is extreme from a light fluff incapable of supporting any appreciable weight to a frozen crust that is as firm as hard ground. Secondly, machines already developed were investigated to ascertain the extent to which they met the specifications. The aero sled had good speed on the level but lacked power to climb well. The Louisiana swamp buggy was too big for the glider and handled badly on ice or crust. The Jeep on 17 by 20 tires was limited in climbing. A half track with front ski steering performed well on level snowlands, but could not traverse hard ground, rock, and other obstacles. Development is continuing on this vehicle. The Archimedean screw climbed well, but dug into deep snow when towing. It had difficulty crossing rocky ground and lacked stability. The snow motor of the U.S. Forest Service proved a powerful tractor, but its single wide track limited speed and called for too large a turning radius. The solution appeared to be a track-laying vehicle with controlled differential steering. Work on pilot models of this vehicle, known as the Weasel, began immediately after issue of the G-4 directive. The resulting models fulfilled the required dimensions. Length, 132 inches, 12 inches under the allowance. Height, 60 inches with top down, 67 with top up. Beam, 60 inches. These dimensions permit the weasel to enter the standard 15-place army glider. Each track runs on a driver, an idler, and two sets of bogey wheels. The 75 horsepower automobile engine is in the back. Radiator to the rear. Power is delivered by a drive shaft through a transfer case and a controlled differential to the front drive wheel. 25 gallons go in the gas tank, enough for 75 to 100 miles on average difficult runs. Under level efficient conditions, the machine has a cruising range of about 175 miles. There are two seats in tandem and cargo space. Steering is done with two differential brakes. Pulling on the left lever turns to the left, on the right lever to the right. A transfer lever gives high and low ranges. Conventional shifting for speeds and reverse, conventional clutch, accelerator, instrument board. Weight is just over a ton and a half. The weasel substantially meets the military requirements specified by the War Department General Staff, G4. Required to traverse rock, hard ground, deep, fresh snow. Required speed on level, 25 miles per hour. Required angle of climb in snow, 30 degrees. Required turning radius, 12 feet. Required cruising range in rugged country, 225 miles. This can be done with extra gasoline containers. Required to be inaudible on a windless snow field at 500 yards. Required dimensions to enter glider. Required military payload, including crew of two, 1,200 pounds. The weasel carries the load or draws it on a sled. And on stable snow, does both. Required life expectancy, 1,000 miles. It 
climbs well in reverse. It is maneuverable at top speed. It can easily climb ditches at 45 degrees, cross 12-inch obstacles, go over railroad tracks, ride rock and gravel, speed over ice, break through brush and small trees. It is stable to a lateral angle of 66 degrees and to a longitudinal angle of 79 degrees. It floats in water and swims by its own power slowly. With a standard outboard motor, it is satisfactorily amphibious. The weasel outdistances men on skis traveling cross country, makes its own roadways through rough terrain. Its small size makes it easy to conceal. Consistent with the requirement of light weight, maximum ruggedness has been built in. Lightweight plates of its track are joined by steel cable. Rubber covering on the plates prevents icing. Under severe stress, the track is designed to throw before braking. It can be restored in the field with a common crowbar. The weasel's main job is transport, although some models have been lightly armored. It can carry troops or tow them on skis. It can carry loads or tow them on sleds. It can be a prime mover, a reconnaissance car, a command post, and with its radio, a message center. A dozen weasels could carry a platoon to a position. Glider borne, the weasel goes with airborne troops for operations in the snow. Or transport borne and dropped by parachute. The weasel lands on the spot, ready to go to work. A rugged vehicle of speed and power. Meanwhile, investigation is being pressed further on the possibilities of a half-track vehicle with ski steering. As a result of experience with several hundred weasels, improvements are being made toward a new model. Some of these changes will be a rear drive, a more stable track, a cargo body. The improved weasel will be one of the snow vehicles available next winter. <laughs>